Folks, the mother of a high school basketball player in California posted this disturbing video of a racist high school student shouting offensive and racial slurs at her son on Friday. Watch. Oh, no way. What's he stepping up in there? Laguna Hills High School student was yelling, chain him up, who let him out of his chains? He's a monkey at the black athlete throughout the entire game. According to school officials, the student has been counseled and disciplined for his poor behavior. The incident took place in Orange County, which is only 2% black, and state officials say hate crimes are on the rise in the area. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to understand here, uh, Reese, if he did this throughout the game, uh, why didn't someone say remove his racist ass? Because people don't actually have a problem with racism. They have a problem with racism being called out more than they have a problem with the act, the act of racial violence. And those words Come on, were Lisa. racial violence. And so it does not surprise me one bit that people was just like, oh, well, I don't know. And you're going to have a lot of people that are going to sit up there and be like, oh, I didn't hear, or oh, I didn't take it to be racial, you know, it, whatever the fuck the case may be. So this is just what happens. And <laughs> this is, it's actually not a revelation at all. It's very typical and behavior to be expected. It's abhorrent and it's it's unconscionable, but it doesn't surprise me one bit that no action was taken when it should have been done immediately. Uh, I'm just saying, Faraji, if I'm sitting in those stands and that racist is saying that, oh, the game, right. the game is going to be paused. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm, I'm Ron Artest in his ass, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm running no. right up in the stands like, yo, what you say? Like, I mean, we, 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 at some point, and this is the thing about us as black people, because we have undergone so many issues and challenges as black folks in this country that I, I think to some degree, when we do hear this in modern day 2022, we are kind of numb to it. We, we, haven't, we haven't fully, you know, we, we, the, the sting of saying the nigger uh, or from, uh, from anybody, because we say it to ourselves, so... Our brains, and, and Dr. Carr, correct me if I'm wrong, but our brains are, don't pick up the inflection or the A at the end of it. We just, oh, that's just somebody talking, or I don't want to say nothing. Like, we are being conditioned to lose our humanity in the midst of savagery. And that's the part about it. Like, if somebody, if somebody calls you nigger or somebody uses, who says, calls you a monkey, that shouldn't be like, oh, that's just talk. You got to confront it. We all got to confront it in such a, 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 a strong way to send the message. Man, who the f do you think you're talking to? I'm telling you right this now. Ain't, this, ain't, this ain't 1822. This is 2022, hey, baby. We will knock you the fuck out. I'm telling you, like, I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. I would have got sit, well, I would, Greg, I would have went and sat right next to his ass. Say something. No question. Say something. I want, no question. Say, say it one more time and see what happens. Say it one more see, time. See, he, he, he's not going to be, he ain't going to be saying the whole game. Say it right. <laughs> Greg, Greg, final comment. Uh, no, you're right. I mean, but you know, and Faraj, you really own to something, brother. The biggest fight I ever saw at a sporting event, Tennessee State football game, and the the Alphas were sitting, no, it wasn't the Alphas, the Kappas, were sitting uh, in, in, in front of the Sigmas. And the Alpha, uh, the, the, the Kappas started singing Green Acres is the place to be. And then you just saw this wall of blue because the Sigma's like, are we country now? And they started brawling. Amos Wilson used to say the reason that black people fight black people is because we have been socialized not to fight white people. Do you know when they would have stopped calling that young brother a name in the OC if he was playing for their team? Yep. See, what we don't seem to understand is that, like you said, Faraji, the, the so-called malice in the palace. When Ron Artest is laying on that bench, on, on that right. sports table, trying to calm himself down, and then white right. boys so comfortable because they've been trained in this country that when there are no humans involved, you can roll us up in mats and kill us, and they'll let you go. They can shoot you in, in your bed, and your boyfriend shoot a gun at them. They charge him. They can Come put on. their knee on your neck, whatever. Ain't nobody going to jail. You put one white boy in jail, the rest of them, they're going to let go in a couple of weeks. Well, then you can throw a cup of beer down and hit him. But here's the problem. 
New York came out and he went up in them stands and then Steven Jackson's like, well, F that, I'm going my boy. And they beat that ass. Now, what's the equivalent of beating that ass? Roland gonna sit there and say, now say something. You ain't gonna say nothing. But guess what? Everybody gonna watch the damn Super Bowl. You wanna know why them corporations are not going to stop funding the white nationalists? Because you ain't gonna make them stop. You gonna watch, and they gonna pet you in the head. They gonna scream for their nigga on their team. And if he switch team, they are gonna come against him. Go ask my man and we're in Philadelphia about that. When he decided that he was gonna come back from a broken leg and damn near won a Super Bowl, and when they got mad at Terrell Owens, the N word came out. Go ask uh, Dicky Allen about that, the Philadelphia Phillies. Go ask Barry Bonds about that, San Francisco Giant. Go ask Dave oh. Parker about that when they threw batteries him in Pittsburgh. He was on their team. Ain't none of them in the Hall of Fame, and they ain't got a damn thing to do about performance enhancing drugs. It's got if you are in word, we don't tolerate racism. But once you switch teams, you are an in. Guess what? Because we all niggas, and in the words of Samuel L. Jackson in school days, y'all niggas, and you gonna be niggas forever. <laughs> well, uh, wow. oh my I, goodness, I damn sure wow. not. But say it, try it and see what's gonna happen. <laughs> just try to see what's gonna happen. I'm just saying. All right, folks, back to our my unfiltered video in just one moment. Phenomenal. See, this is the difference between Black Star Network and Black owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig? 